Some of the greatest monuments were built in ancient times. Secrets and legends surround them. Their ingenuity leaves us in awe, creating a fascination that never dies. Like the temple complex of Karnak. Karnak was built over 1,500 years. 30 pharaohs, each generation trying to outdo the last and to build something even more magnificent. And what we have left is one of the marvels of the ancient world. For thousands of years, Egyptian civilization blossomed along the fertile valley of the River Nile. Ruled by pharaohs who built incredible palaces and monuments. And this, the extraordinary Karnak. A complex covering more than 247 acres. Karnak is absolutely massive. It was the largest religious complex in the ancient world. Just the precinct of the God of Moon was big enough to hold 10 cathedrals. One of its great rooms is a staggering 54,000 square feet. The pillared hall at Karnak is a vast forest of 134 towering columns, some as tall as a seven-story building. It's so vast you could fit Notre Dame Cathedral inside it. And in fact, still today, it's the largest room discovered in any religious building in the world. Each pillar is so broad, it takes 10 men to encircle it. The lintels on the pillar tops, 70 tons each. It also once had a roof. But how on earth did they build it? The Karnak pillars weren't built using cranes and scaffolding like we have today. Instead, the ancient Egyptians used mud ramps to build layer upon layer upon layer. It really was an incredible feat of ancient engineering. As the mud built up, the giant stones could be slid into place. At its peak, 80,000 workers toiled here. The Temple of Karnak is one of the largest religious sites in the entire history of the world. The pillared hall alone used 7,000 tons of sandstone. That's equal to the weight of the entire Eiffel Tower. When the mud was removed, the temple's full glory was revealed. The most ambitious builder of Karnak's pharaohs was Ramses II who reigned for over 60 years in the 13th century BC. Ramesses II had every reason to create these enormous statues of himself because he had the ego to match. All rulers built monuments, but Ramesses II outbuilt them all. With each pharaoh's bid to outdo their ancestors, Karnak became one of the most incredible sights of the ancient world. Our next monument, the Great Pyramid, built by Pharaoh Khufu. The Pyramid of Khufu weighs in at a staggering six million tons. It is, without doubt, one of the most amazing feats of engineering on this earth. The Egyptians built more than 118 pyramids across their kingdom. But this dwarfs all others. It was constructed around 2600 BC as the Pharaoh's burial chamber. At 480 feet high, it was the tallest man-made structure in the world for nearly 4,000 years. It took up to 40,000 workers at least 10 years to build the Great Pyramid of Khufu. This means that blocks that weighed anything from two and a half to 80 tons were being put in place every two and a half minutes. That's just staggering. 2.3 million limestone blocks were hauled up using muscle power alone. The Great Pyramid was so precisely built that all of the sides are equal to each other down to a matter of inches. For a monument that size, that's just amazing. 
The entire base of the Great Pyramid is almost perfectly level. It's an astonishing feat of construction. The pyramid was originally covered with bright, polished limestone and capped with gold. Four sides of the casing met at 90 degree angles. They were so perfectly aligned, the angles were accurate to within one one hundredth of an inch. Some experts say the very slight curvature built into the faces of the pyramid exactly matches the curvature of the Earth. Inside the Great Pyramid lies the now empty burial chamber of Pharaoh Khufu. But there are many other legends that suggest the pyramid and those around it were more than just a tomb. What were they used for? Did they actually contain the body of the king? Or were they ritual devices for projecting the pharaoh's soul into the constellation of Orion? We're not entirely sure. The organization, the logistics, the alignment with the stars, the ancient Egyptians' engineering prowess was just astonishing and way ahead of its time. The Great Pyramid is the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world still standing. Gold and riches are said to be hidden inside. But as the oldest and largest of Egypt's pyramids, the real treasure is the pyramid itself. 